Lord, I'd like to say a pleasant good afternoon to the man of Jesus. A pleasant good afternoon to Queen Esther in her absence, Mother Angie, A.P.T. Tremonda, Mother in her absence, Captain Nordia, Warrior Teacher Jewel, Warrior Jewel, Deacon Tony, Brothers and Sisters in Christ, everyone in their respective offices. The Christ of me, which the Christ of you. May we bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you and praise you for yet another day of life, health, and strength. Thank you for bringing us to this spot of ground for this time and hour. Dear Lord God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. And I pray that the words that I have placed on paper through your inspiration, dear Lord God, can assist myself and others in the hearing of my voice. In Jesus' holy and matchless name, amen. Ask the Lord to anoint our ears to hear what is for us, our hearts to receive what is for us, take what's for you, and leave what's not in Jesus' name. So today's topic is, It Ends With Me. So when I got this, the first thing that I thought about was, okay, what ends with me? So I decided to do the five W's and the one H. Amen? All scriptures taken, and I will be reading because I wanted to be assured that I don't miss anything. All scriptures taken from the Message Version Bible and definitions from Merriam-Webster Dictionary. And can be used in various parts of speech. But I will use it as a noun for this topic, meaning the part of an era that lies at the boundary, a point that marks the extent of something, and the point where something ceases to exist. Who does it end with? Me. Who am I? I am me. And the generations that come from me. My children, their children, and those influenced by me. What ends with me? The fruit of the flesh. Although all does not apply to me, I have not been exempt from all. Galatians chapter 5 verses 19 to 21. It is obvious what kind of life develops out of trying to get your own way all the time. Repetitive, loveless, cheap sex. Mm. A stinking accumulation of mental and emotional garbage. Mm -hmm. Frenzied and joyless grabs for happiness. Trinket gods. Magic show religion. Paranoid loneliness, cutthroat competition, all consuming yet never satisfied once, a brutal temper, an impotence to love or be loved, divided homes and divided lives, small minded and lopsided pursuits, the various vicious habit of depersonalizing everyone into a rival uncontrolled and uncontrollable addictions, ugly parodies of community. I could go on. This isn't the first time I have warned you, you know. If you use your freedom this way, you will not inherit God's kingdom. Amen. Wow. When does it end with me? When I decide, as I have, to stop self-inflicting my struggles. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 to 26. Then Jesus went to work on his disciples. Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me leave. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Follow me, and I'll show you how. Self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way, to finding yourself, your true self. What kind of deal is it to get everything you want but lose yourself? Mm. What could you ever trade your soul for? Where does it end? In my mind and in my heart, putting aside self-wanting things to happen on my time in my way. Psalm 27, verses 13 and 14. I'm sure now I'll see God's goodness in the exuberant earth. Stay with God. Take heart. Don't quit. I'll say it again. Stay with God. 
Why and how does it end with me? Because I have chosen to accept the Lord as my Lord and Savior through confessing with my mouth and believing in my heart and have placed my life before God as a living sacrifice, dying to self daily, and I have surrendered all to Him. I have been broken, I have been tired and exhausted. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what He wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. So I encourage myself, likewise you, in the hearing of my voice, to embrace things that must end with you and let them truly end. So we give ourselves the opportunity as the decision and choice is ours to freely make. We may begin and also continue on a better and brighter note in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.